The statements referred to amounted to the suggestion that as Hitler had Jewish blood in his veins, he had small right to be anti-Semitic. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm about to expose a very important truth of history that most people do not know, okay? And this truth is about the one and only Adolf Hitler, guys, okay? And by the end of this video, guys, I will prove to you that Adolf Hitler, although he is known for the Holocaust, killing many of those Khazarians that call themselves Jews, he himself was also a Jewish person, okay? And of course, by Jewish, I mean Khazar, okay? Very, very important stuff to know. We're gonna learn a lot, okay, today. So let's start off with this book. This book is called Hitler's Youth by Frank Jetzinger, okay? This book was published in the year 1958, guys. Just for reference, World War II was between 1939 to 1945. So maybe a decade or a little bit over a decade later, this book was published okay so let's go to page 17 in this book okay so here we are on page 17 guys and as you can see this page is titled hitler's genealogy and if you go to the page just above this page 16 you can actually see hitler's family tree let me rotate this so you guys can see the full thing okay so here is hitler's family tree guys very important stuff on this uh tree okay so here is uh let me show you where adolf hitler is first so this is adolf right here he was born in 1889 and he died in 1945 okay the year world war ii ended guys okay so these are his siblings around him right here and this guy right here called elois hitler he was the first born son okay, so this is hitler's brother okay but Hitler's brother was actually named after Hitler's dad, okay? Because when you go above, you will see another Elois right here. Elois Sickle Grubber. I can't pronounce it very well. Elois Sickle Grubber slash Hitler. This is Hitler's dad right here, Elois, okay? So this is Hitler's mother, I assume. Anna Glass. And then together, Hitler's dad and Hitler's mom came together to have all these kids right here, including Adolf himself. Okay, very important. But that is not the issue, guys. Hitler's father isn't actually the issue. The real issue here is Hitler's grandfather, okay? So if we go to Elois Sikul Grubber, who is Hitler's dad, and we follow this lineage above him, we are going to see Hitler's grandmother on his father's side, guys. Maria Anna Sikul Grubber, that's her name. But guess what, guys? Next to her, there is a question mark, guys. Who is this question mark for? This question mark, guys, is for Hitler's grandfather, who is the very important character that's gonna help us prove that Adolf Hitler himself was a Jewish man, okay? Well, in Hitler's genealogy, guys, let's read from right here. Elois Sickle Grubber, as I told you, this was what? Adolf Hitler's father, guys. Let's see what it says about him. In the year 1793, Johannes Sickle Grubber age 26 married Theresia. oh these names are difficult to pronounce guys i think it's feisinger i think that's what it is the daughter of a tenant farmer living in a small village near dolashim let's go down a little bit guys of the 11 children of the marriage only seven survived their infancy and of those three were girls anna maria known as anna merrill josfa nickname Pepe and very important character right here guys Maria Anna okay very important because this is Hitler's grandmother right here shortened to Marianne the future mother of Elois Siku Grubber guys okay, so let's see what it says next in 1817 the father of the family then aged 50 handed over his estates including the house where his children had been born to his eldest son joseph okay that's how it's pronounced joseph and himself went to live in his cannot pronounce this word or dwelling set aside for retirement okay that's where he went to guys okay the father of the house gave his property to his elder son named joseph right and then he went to this place so let's see about his daughters now his daughters anna merle and maria ann were then in their 20s very important they were in their 20s including this woman right here who is 
Hitler's grandmother guys are left to earn their living elsewhere. Maria Ann probably following the example of other farmers daughters and going in the first instant to Vienna. She went to Vienna to do what? To work as a domestic servant. Very important stuff guys. Trust me all these things that I'm highlighting is going to come into play very soon. Very very important stuff. So the next time we hear about her about Hitler's grandmom was in the year 1837 guys. <laughs> when she was 41 remember she left for vienna when she was in her 20s so now it's like another 20 years has gone by she's 41 okay let's see what has changed now in that year she returned to her native village unmarried but pregnant guys okay so someone had put a bun in her oven and she was not married to that person remember she was a domestic servant for someone and then after a year she came back to her home unmarried but pregnant guys okay she was pregnant with adolf hitler's dad guys okay so now here we are on this page we're on page 19 now okay listen to this guys was adolf hitler's grandfather a jewish man okay let's see Though it may yet be established, the identity of Elois Sickle Grubber's father, that is, of Adolf Hitler's paternal grandfather, has to this day remained unknown. Okay, it's not in any official record, guys. But let's see what it says next. It was asserted by Hans Franks, the former Reich Minister of Justice. This is not some random guy, guys. The former Reich Minister of Justice that he was a jew it may well have been so in a book titled at the gallows foot an interpretation of hitler and his age a book that he wrote when under sentence of death in nuremberg prison hans frank stated it must have been towards the end of 1930 when one day in munich hitler sent for me he was in his flat in the Oh, I cannot pronounce these words, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, in some place. So he, Hitler, showed me a letter, a nauseating attempt at blackmail. It concerned his, Hitler's ancestry. Okay, it was about Hitler's ancestry. If I am not mistaken, the letter was from a son of Hitler's stepbrother, a Lois. It concerned an innuendo to the effect that certain statements made in the press it would no doubt be felt desirable that certain facts connected to our family should not be shouted from the rooftop keep quiet about certain things about hitler's ancestry guys the statements referred to amounted to the suggestion that as hitler had jewish blood in his veins he had small right to be anti-semitic okay <laughs> this is crazy guys so let's read from right here guys these veiled allusions from one of Hitler's own relatives were more sinister, however, and on his instruction, I proceeded to follow them up. So Hans Franks was given a job to do by Adolf Hitler to investigate this family member of Hitler, who seems to be blackmailing Hitler by kind of pointing to the fact that Adolf Hitler himself had Jewish blood in his veins, okay? Kazarian blood, guys. Kazarian blood. Very important that you know that. I do not believe those people are the real Jews. They are Khazars. So when I say Jews, I expect you as someone who has been watching my videos to know that I am talking about Khazars, guys. Okay, so check this out here, guys. As we already know, Adolf Hitler's father was the illegitimate son of a woman named Siko Grubber, okay? That is talking about Maria Ann or Maria Anna. Uh, this woman, Franks discovered, had been in domestic service as a cook in Grace. At the time her baby was born, she was with a Jewish family in Grace by the name of Frankenberger. And the curious fact is this, starting on the day the child was born, and continuing right up to its 14th year, Frankenberger Sr. Okay, paid maintenance to the mother on behalf of his 19-year-old son. Ooh, okay, so after Hitler's mom left Vienna and went back to live with her family in their community, for the next 14 years of her life, the head of the household that she used to be a domestic service in was paying her maintenance giving her money for 14 years why guys why did this happen let's see the frankenburgers continued to correspond with her 
for many years and underlying everything they said in their letters was the tacit understanding that the woman sickle grubber's baby had been begotten in circumstances which made it a duty of the frankenburgers to pay for its maintenance okay <laughs> This is crazy stuff guys okay so this frankenburgers this jewish family their 19 year old son had an affair with hitler's grandmother maria ann when she was a domestic service in their house for the next 14 years of this woman's life the head of this frankenburger this jewish family was paying this woman for maintenance of the child guys okay so here we are now guys so according to hans franks then his investigations resulted in the discovery that Adolf Hitler himself was one quarter Jewish. What proof is there that this was so? The answer is that unless and until fresh facts come to light, the assertion can neither be proved or disproved. But such evidence as we have tends to confirm it. So it's true. But even till this day, the world still does not know that Adolf Hitler's grandfather was a jewish man by the name of frankenberger this guy when he was 19 he had some you know sexy sexy time with hitler's grandmother guys and that is how hitler's father elois was born damn as franks did not state the source of his information we are not in a position to assess its reliability directly indirectly however we have a most valuable indication in hitler's reaction when franks made his report for it may be assumed that Hitler had no prior knowledge even of the possibility of his part Jewish ancestry or otherwise he would not have taken the risk of instructing Frank to make the inquiry. Now listen to this guys. I want you guys to pay attention to how Hitler is going to react when Frank tells him that yeah the report seems to suggest that that Jewish family, the Frankenberger, their 19 year old son at that time was Hitler's grandfather. Okay, now listen to how Hitler reacts to this news. Adolf Hitler wrote Franks and he said he knew that his father was not the child of the sickle grubber woman by the grace Jew. <laughs> he knew it from what his father and his grandmother had told him. He knew that his father sprang from the premarital relations between his grandmother and the man whom she later married. Mm, okay, but they were both poor and the maintenance money which the Jew paid over a number of years was an extremely desirable supplement to the poverty-stricken household. He was well able to pay and for that reason it had been stated that he was the father and the Jew paid without going to court probably because he could not face the publicity that a legal settlement would have entailed. Okay, so this is actually Hitler trying to convince Hans Frank not to believe the lie that he has Jewish blood in his ancestry, guys, okay? But I think Hans Franks would clearly see that Hitler was just trying to cover up. Assuming that Hitler was correctly reported in this account of Franks, and Franks can have had no conceivable reason for misquoting him, at any rate intentionally, the first point that emerges is that whether or not Hitler had ever heard of the Jew from Greys before, he did not know and had no evidence to prove that the Jew was not his grandfather, guys. For he was lying. <laughs> okay, so here is how they caught Hitler in a lie, guys. Listen. For he was lying when he claimed that he had it on the word of his father and his grandmother. Why? Because the latter, his grandmother, having already died over 40 years before Hitler was born. So there is no way Hitler could have heard it from his grandmother that the man who fathered Hitler's dad was not a Jew. There is no way. Why? Because she was already dead 40 years before Hitler was born. And his father, when he was not yet 14. Okay, so his father actually died <laughs> when Adolf was less than 14 years old. Man. And it is inconceivable that any father, let alone a man of Eloise Hitler's reserved and rigid character, would have remarked to his young son, whatever you may hear to the contrary, your grandfather was not a Jew. Okay, that's not the kind of thing that a father would tell to his young, you know, less than 14 year old son. So basically, Hans Franks figured out that Adolf Hitler was lying here when he claimed that he knew for a fact 
from listening to his grandmother and from listening to his father that his real grandfather was not a Jew. Adolf was lying guys, he was lying, crazy. Hitler's unsavory explanation to Frank must then have been concocted on the spur of the moment. He wasn't really thinking when he was giving uh, Frank an explanation guys, okay? With the intention of doing what? Firstly, giving Frank to believe that Hitler already knew the story of the Jew and secondly, Hitler was trying to discredit the truth guys, okay? He didn't want Frank to believe that yeah, he himself, Hitler, actually descended from the line of the Jewish people, okay? He was one of these people that called themselves Jews. Finally, and most important of all, it should be noted that Hitler made no attempt to deny that his grandmother had had some kind of a relationship with the Grey's Jew or that the Jew had given her money at regular intervals over a considerable period. And yet, Frank's report was the first he had ever heard of either the Jew or his money. The conclusion is inescapable that the evidence which Franks produced must have been solid beyond all possibility of denial. Then what evidence? The letters, perhaps. As might be expected, Hans Frank hovers between the conviction that Hitler's Jewish ancestry had been proved and the reluctance to reject completely the Führer's denial. Hitler was lying, okay? And Hans Frank knew it, guys. Hitler was a Jewish man, guys. Jewish man. But he didn't publish it publicly. Listen to this, guys. Listen to what he says right here. In giving his story to posterity, Frank had no desire to defame Hitler. Okay, this is why people don't know this story. Okay, Hans Frank was a loyal supporter of Adolf Hitler. That's why this story, he didn't publicize it, guys. On the contrary, he wanted to exonerate Hitler. Okay, that was his objective. Okay, so now listen to this, guys. We are now on page 23 of this book. Listen to what it says right here. Almost as important as Frank's report is the evidence presented by Hitler's nephew, a nephew named William Patrick Hitler, who in his article in the French newspaper Paris Soir in 1939 also maintained that Hitler was of Jewish origin, okay? So it's not just Hans Franks that investigated and discovered this truth. Even Hitler's family, his nephew, also said that, yeah, Adolf Hitler was a Jewish man, guys. Powerful stuff. Okay, so guys, here we are now in this book. It's titled Hitler's Vienna, A Dictator's Apprenticeship. Okay, that's the name of this book. It was published in the year 1996. Okay, it's not a very old book. Let's see what's inside this book, guys. Okay, so here we are on page, we're on page 48, no, 46 right now, guys, page 46. Let's see what we can glean from this page. We're gonna read from right here, guys. Now, scores of reporters started searching for Hitler's alleged Jewish relatives. It was discovered that the name Hitler appeared among Jewish families in the small town of Polna in Moravia in Poland and that there was a Jewish merchant in the Leopoldstan district who claimed to be a relative of Hitler via Polna. In Warsaw, listen to this guys, in Warsaw, some Jewish families by the name of Hitler officially applied for a change of name, adverting to the anti-Semitic German politician guys, okay? So the name Hitler, it's a Jewish name, but because of the infamy of Adolf Hitler, many Jewish families started to change that name, okay? They did not want to be associated with Adolf, guys, okay? Very important stuff that you realize that, yeah, okay, this is just more and more evidence to prove that Adolf Hitler himself is a Jewish man, guys. He is, okay? Okay, so here we are again on page 48. Let's see what it says in this book, okay? This side, right here. Hitler did not want to hear anything about relatives. I've got no idea about my family history. In that area, I'm an absolute dunce. Even when I was younger, I didn't know I had relatives. I've only learned that since I became Reich Chancellor. I am an entirely non-familiar being, a non-clanning being by nature. That's not my cup of tea. I only belong to my folkish community. Well, let's see what it says next. Not until after 1945 did Hitler's personal attorney, Hans Frank, that we read about in the other book, former governor general in Poland, make the truly explosive material public guys. Shortly before he was executed, 
he wrote his memoir guys okay so this is the german name for the book but i believe it is translated to mean facing the gallows that's the name of the memoirs so listen to what he wrote in the book guys that at the end of 1930 he wrote hitler has shown him a letter commenting that this was a disgusting blackmail story of one of his most repulsive relatives concerning hitler's ancestry the relative had dropped hints to the effect that in connection with certain remarks in the press one would be well advised not to broadcast certain circumstances of our hitler's family history the point was that hitler had jewish blood in his veins and therefore had scant credentials for being anti-semitic you couldn't call him anti-semitic if he was a jewish man as well that's basically what he says okay okay so listen to this guys frank claimed that hitler directed him to check confidentially into the matter he found out from all kinds of sources which he did not want to divulge the following before the child was born hitler's grandmother this lady again had been a cook in grays in the household of a jew by the name of frankenberger that she had become pregnant by the son of the house the 19 year old son guys and that for the next 14 years she received child support payments for Litsu Elois, there had been a correspondence between the Frankenbergers and Hitler's grandmother, which went on for years, and whose basic trust it was that everyone had tacitly acknowledged that Sekou Grubber's illegitimate child was born under circumstances that obliged the Frankenberger to pay child support. According to his own racial laws, Hitler thus would have been a quarter Jew and not been able to produce the necessary ticket into the Third Reich, the proof of Aryan descent. Okay, so no, you are telling you that Hitler, officially in the eyes of their German law, is a Jewish man. Okay, he is a Jewish man. His grandfather on his father's side, his patrilineage is a Jewish lineage, guys. So yeah, I'm sorry, Adolf Hitler, the guy who is known for the Holocaust. He's a Jew, okay? And since he's a Jew, you cannot call him anti-Semitic, guys. That's why the book says this. Hitler had Jewish blood in his veins and therefore had scant credentials for being anti-Semitic, which means you could not call him anti-Semitic since he had Jewish blood, okay? They couldn't call him that shit, guys, okay? Because he was one of these people, these Khazarians who called themselves Jews. History is fantastic if you guys go through it well. Don't listen to all those movies, all those... uh hollywood movies or all those history channel documentaries those things are a lie if you want to know the truth of history you're gonna to have to do yourself a favor and read these books okay now after everything we have learned guys i remember this clip a year or two ago by whoopi goldberg where she says on her talk show that the holocaust was not about race but it was about man's inhumanity to man it's not about well, race what is it about? because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. After everything I've showed you guys, it's clear that Wubi Gobeg was right, guys, okay? It wasn't about race. You cannot call Hitler anti-Semitic. No, he himself had the same blood of the rest of the Jewish people in his veins, okay? Very powerful stuff. <laughs>